Okay, Thunderbolt 305, um, one drive and three, uh, 6LQ6 sweet tube amplifier. Um, picked this up at the uh, 2025 Dayton Swap. Already got a couple people with their name on it. Uh, one guy was first, I put it in his goodie box, so it's already spoken for. Uh, cleaned it up, recapped it, and uh, basically that's all it needed. I already did a video uh, showing the caps underneath and grounded some uh, tube power supply high voltage troubleshooting, so we're not going to go underneath. Actually, it's up and running. So we're going to keep this camera a foot away and try to zoom in from the top here. Uh, the one driver tube, the uh, three finals. Uh, only thing different, it's not a directly grounded grid. Grid run has some um, both uh, fixed negative bias uh, from the low voltage power supply and it also has uh, a resistor, a swamping resistor. Uh, a variable pot which is the power pot on grid one and that gives you the um, power control there for the driver tube. The finals have the negative fixed bias on grid one um, I believe about 12 volts not too much negative 12 uh, on grid, grid one full time the rest of the grids are grounded um, drives through the uh, cathode Grounded grid drive, one drive and three amplifier. Um, receive amp works, everything works on this amp except for one thing. And if you notice the amp is running even with this power on off switch here in the off position or it don't matter what position. What somebody did was um, this switch is bad. You could say it doesn't want to go. I did some resistance readings. This switch is bad. So somebody else did it. They put the power on the AM SSB uh, switch. So they disconnected the SSB and they left the uh, AM switch. Well, they put the uh, on off power on the uh, AM SSB. So that literally turns it on and off. Um, I'm going to look and see if I could get a switch, but I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, most people don't use um, grounded grid uh, sweep tube amps, especially some with a little bit of uh, bias on them on um, on SSB anyway and then receive amp on and off standby your variable power it did key from about 50 to 150 um, with your power level and then it swing to um, about 300 average about 350 peak your drive here is the drive tune. It tunes the driver tube. That's not a variable. The only variable is down here for that. That's your drive tune and then your basic tune and load for the outputs. You're tuning the uh, output tubes with these. You're tuning the driver tube with that. This amplifier does not have a tuned input. Um, why do people do that? Again, cost. Um, but I like it. Got a big meter. Um, decent looking amp. It cleaned up well, I think. It's not perfect. But, you know, this amp was probably out about, you know, 1975. So it's about 50 years old. So all in all, for a 50-year-old amp, it's in pretty good shape. You know, not mint. Covers look pretty good on it. And, again, everything works. So... I guess that's enough talking because we're just going to key it down right quick. Um, we're on the 2000 watt scale. We just put it on average. Well, let's put it on the 200 watt scale. Dead yeah, keen about 50. Audio. Audio. And that's on average with the power turned down. We're going to turn the power switch up. And dead keen about 175 now. And now we're going to go to the 2000 watt scale with the power up. Dead keen about 170 on that scale. Hello, hello. Oh, uh, yo, talking about 225. Whistling about 275 on average. And dial the power down some. 
Gary Keen about 60. Hello, hello, hello. Audio and still talking about 225. Talks to about the same thing on uh, with the power down and with the power up. So it swings about the same, but the it um, the power adjusts your uh, dead key down and up. And last we just gonna put it on peak. Audio, 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 audio. Doing about 400 peak there. Audio, audio. Must have got a little warmer after it's been sitting a while. I had to go find my camera and everything. Hello, 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 hello. Talking about 375. Shh. Audio. And almost hitting 400 peak watts. You know, Thunderbolt 305. That's what it's supposed to do. No glitches, no fuss. Uh, I think looks decent again. Not meant. Does what it's supposed to do and everything works except that uh, power switch is uh, bypassed and uh, the SSB delay is. Uh, removed and put the power on that if I got time I may look for a switch if I can find one and fix that all right that's gonna be it on this one bye